Next up, please welcome Bill Spark. Bill Spark. Oh wow, I'm following a black person. I'm not even a police officer. How is everybody doing tonight? This mic is not staying up. Can we get a hot girl on stage to help keep it up? Keep it erect? We'll just do it like that. I like to hold on to it. Does anybody have kids in here? Yeah, hell yeah. I got a two-year-old son. I got a babysitter for this tonight. Like, kid, my son changed my life so much. He's a two-year-old boy. And like, after having my kid, it just changed so much. It's like ironic. Like, I used to take girls' pants off like, ooh, are you wet? Now I'm taking my kid's pants off like, are you wet? And he's a little boy, so as soon as a diaper comes off, the penis hits air and it just starts spraying out like a geyser. You gotta get out of the way. I'm not in the golden showers, but I have developed a tolerance for it. Strike me down, God. Yeah. I've learned some valuable lessons, though, after having my kid. Like, I learned it's really easy to have kids when you have sex, but it's very hard to have sex when you have kids. And I will elaborate for all of you who don't have kids. Like, I put my kid to bed the other day, me and my girl go into the bedroom. She starts taking off her clothes, and then I hear, Daddy! And, you know, he's a little boy. can't be like, hey, thanks a lot, cock black. You just ruined the moment. You know, I can't wait till he gets older and he brings home a girl. As soon as they go to the bedroom, I'm just going to walk over there and kick open the door like, Hey, what are you doing? Dad, it's called revenge. Now put your clothes back on and go mow the lawn. That's what you get to do when you're a parent. It's all you have left. I, I can't wait to tell my kid to do chores. I hope he back talks me. Like, why do I got to do chores, Dad? Uh, maybe because you owe my penis nine months rent. I don't know if you know this, but my penis and you used to be roommates, but it was quickly evicted. It was almost homeless. I was lucky to have a helping hand. Because vaginas are kind of like homes for penises. You know, you meet the right girl, you've been with her long enough, that vagina's pretty much your penis's home. You can come inside, stay as long as you want, you don't even have to dress up. But if you're in the dating world, you gotta be on your best behavior. You can't do whatever you want to do in there. You're a guest in her vagina. And you definitely don't want to make any messes in there, because if you do, nine months later, the situation turns into more like a timeshare. You're trying to figure out why you're paying so much money when you only get a weekend visit every so often. And on top of that, there's some other guy there when you're not. But even if you do find the right vagina to move your penis into, I still only recommend renting. Because after a while, that vagina is going to decrease in value. It's not going to be the same. But hey, you signed the papers, now you're paying for it for the rest of your life. Vaginas are expensive. You miss one payment, you go on the street, and that pussy goes up for auction. Then some new guy comes around thinking he got a deal on a used vagina, like sure there's a lot of space in here. That's the thing about vaginas, after you use them up, they don't fit anymore, they're like old socks. And then black people, they think they're so much better than white people because they have bigger penises, and they think they're picking up a trophy when they get a white girl. No, you're just getting hand-me-down socks. It's time to take this pussy to the Goodwill. Oh, they won't accept it because it has a hole in it. And I know that sounds racist, but all white people are racist, and I can prove it right now. You ever reach into a, a, a fresh loaf of bread, the first thing you do is grab that first brown piece and move it to the side. Like, what are you doing in the front? Get to the back of the loaf with the other brown piece. You're blocking all the white pieces. They're so much better. I swear, once you go wheat, that's all you want to eat. All right, that's my time. Thank you. I'm Bill Sport. You've been a terrific audience. <laughs> Bill Spark. Come on, give it up for Bill. I don't know, Bill. You suck. Sounds pretty good to me right now. I don't know. <laughs> D-Bay Radio. D-B-A-Y dot F-M. You'll find Tuesday night shows live.